oh, we have got SCOTUS. We have got Hunter Biden. We have got gun charges concealing foreign lobbying. Oh, you guys are going to love this episode of Second Legacy. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. But before we get going into all the shenanigans we're going to break down, Tim, mm -hmm. how are you? Are you excited? I'm ready. I'm I, ready for this this week. I am. Yep. I agree. You really sold that thing. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> you remember, you know, pre-show we're talking about it's going to be one of those episodes, right? I'm like, yes, it, it is. is. It is. It is. Tim's <laughs> in special form this fine morning. So I'm excited to see what comes out of this. We've got everything, Tim. We've got we got some SCOTUS action from Alito. We've got Hunter Biden getting some special sweetheart treatment, hiding all sorts of things in prosecutorial uh, malfeasance. Man, this is going to be a good one. Make sure you guys leave comments down there because I want to hear what you guys think about this one. So. Tim, I think it's, uh, we only owe it to ourselves and to the audience to talk about what happened on Friday after we filmed our episode around the SCOTUS taking action on the ghost guns thing. They came down pretty quick. Alito was uh, was on it. He must have been like, waiting in his office ready like with a pen or something. Yeah. It's, it's so man, typical. he moved fast on that one. <laughs> Do a video and predict, yeah, they're probably going to drag this one out. And then they actually yeah. come out like a few hours later and go, oh, yeah, we got something for you guys. <laughs> yeah, like they, they break new record time. <laughs> it's like, like, oh, well, thanks, Sam. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, let's go <laughs> you know, post so another video first. <laughs> it's like, like, well, let's post the other video, and I guess we'll catch up on Monday. So basically where we're at right now is they actually – I mean, Samuel Alito, who this is in his district, it's his, it's his responsibility. He came down and he did a few things here. And that's not the main point of this video, but just to keep you, catch you guys up. He came down and said, you know what? We're going to grant that stay until August 4th. So that's this coming Friday, right? And then he said, oh, and by the way, on Wednesday, I want all the counter arguments to the ATF's plea. You know, that whole bicycles or, eight, or uh, firearms because they don't have pedals on them. You know, that whole, that whole shindig. Um, so I, I'm intrigued. I'll be honest with you, Tim. When I read this and I saw how fast they came down, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Is this a I don't know thing? That was really quick. Yeah, this is, for me, it's an I don't know thing. I mean, he, he comes down and, 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 you know, hands that little decision down and then gives him some homework. I'm like, uh, right. What? <laughs> and, and he did it within a week, too. Yeah. I'm like. Okay, so he acted this judiciously. He uh, he wants it this quickly. I'm like, man, they either already know the answer on this one or, like, maybe they're bored. But yeah. they are acting unusually quick on this. Yeah, I was surprised. I was like, what? Yes, very strange yeah. indeed. Yeah, I, I thought that was intriguing. But I guess we, we're just going to find out on Wednesday what the arguments are from FPC and the Vanderstock side. And then by Friday, we'll figure out if the if the uh, stay goes away forever because it was temporary or if they take the case. There's a lot of things. Just make sure you guys are subscribed and that you're just paying attention because this week has potential to be pretty spicy. But that's just a small update, Tim. That's the small potatoes because we have got to talk about a sweetheart deal that turns out to be covering something quite nefarious. Would you know it, Tim? You wouldn't believe it, would you? No. I mean, I have the utmost faith in our Department of Justice. It, I don't think it's been weaponized yes. at all. I don't think it's become a political yeah. entity at all. I think that all it does is focus mm -hmm. on the law and mm -hmm. apply it evenly across mm -hmm. all parties. Doesn't matter if you're filthy rich or dirt poor. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about political elite? Where's that factor into your equation? Oh, they're filthy rich. Yes. Oh, okay. That, that's, they're they're in that bucket. Money or both, yes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They're, they're in that bucket. Well... Let's, let's bring everybody together. Let's have a conversation around what we discovered this past weekend. So the Hunter Biden transcript reveals plea deal gave immunity against illegal foreign lobbying charges. Now, Tim, before we even dive into what the malfeasance was, what would foreign lobbying charges imply? I mean, that that sounds like it's something bigger than, I don't know, Hunter Biden. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Well, you know, when you're out there taking money from foreign countries, some of which are considered enemy <laughs> states to the United States. Yeah, I can see that could probably cause a bit of a problem, especially when you're closely tied to, oh, the president of the United States. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, especially when you actually, as the person in trouble for potential foreign lobbying charges, doesn't have any ability for stay or sway on any type of legislation, no votes, doesn't hold office. It's kind of weird that they would hide that in a gun plea deal. So Odd. And then immunity granted to Tim. Oh, man. Enough of the teasing. Let's dive in. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm personally excited. So, Mr. Producer, could you throw number two up there? And we're just going to bring the people in with us. 
So Hunter Biden could have received a plea deal that would have granted him wide-ranging immunity for extraordinary crimes, such as illegal foreign lobbying and federal tax evasion, if a judge had not stepped in, according to the transcripts of his court proceedings. And that's what I find fascinating here, Tim. This is according to court transcripts. Mm. This isn't opinion. This isn't, well, if this happens and the stars align and then Mars is also in retrograde, this could be the outcome. No, this is actually from like court proceedings. This is actually transcripts. This, this is... Yeah, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. Number three, Mr. Producer. So the hearing in which Biden, Biden pled uh, not guilty was supposed to be a proceeding where the first son pleaded guilty to two misdemeanor tax crimes and a diversion deal for a felony federal gun charge. The agreement would have allowed him to avoid to avoid jail time for the gun charge. Now this is the, this is the fly in the ointment right here, Tim. That little diversion deal. Because if I mean from what we've covered so far, the diversion deal was just the way that he was going to get off and not pay federal time for uh, the gun charge, and then plead guilty to the tax misdemeanors. Misdemeanors, turns out you know, it's, it, it's a little <laughs> more a little more intense. Well, yeah, Tim. I mean, it's not like he had no services or no products or any kind of business that would bring in money of which he would pay taxes on. So right. it only makes sense if I was that he's all avoiding the- taxes because it was under the table. If I was Duh. bringing all that money and spending, you know, doing tax write offs on hookers and drugs and all, and hotels like for do. hookers and drugs, you know, and then wound up owing the government you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars because I didn't pay taxes for years. So I'm lying on taxes, not paying taxes. And they charge him with misdemeanors. Yeah. Yeah. And, if and, and don't else... forget that's, <laughs> oh man, under the jail, yep. like, like not even under the jail. In fact, below the foundation of said jail. So, well, I mean, that's where we're at, Tim, though. You got two misdemeanor things and that pesky federal gun charge, which we're about to crack open because it turns out they concealed a clause in there, Tim, that gave him immunity from everything going forward. Isn't it interesting how this kind of shook out? Let's let's dive in a little bit more. Number four, Mr. Producer. However, U.S. District Court Judge Mary Ellen Norica asked probing questions about the diversion agreement that revealed its true nature. This is the gun charge. New transcripts obtained by the Daily Mail reveal that Norica prodded the president's son about protections that deal would have provided for potential foreign lobbying crimes and more. Again, odd how this shakes out, but let me show you the clause, number five. The plea deal reportedly consisted of two parts, the plea agreement and a diversion agreement. A clause in the diversion agreement gave the younger Biden blanket immunity for potential charges that could be filed by the Delaware U.S. Attorney's Office. This appeared to include illegal foreign lobbying, felony tax evasion, and other drug charges. <laughs> so they charge him with I the mean, misdemeanor t- tax charges, they, and then they cover up the felony ones. <laughs> Right. I mean, like if you if you zoom out on this, Tim, you, you literally you have a clause put into a diversionary agreement, which is going to give him immunity from the gun charge, but also future charges that a U.S. Delaware district attorney could charge against him um, or excuse me, U.S. attorney out of Delaware could charge against him. This this stinks to high heaven. Nah, there's nothing to see here. It's just all you stop it. Yes. No, you turn that sarcasm oh. off. I need you to be angry with me. You MAGA crazy person oh, oh. it did was it showing conspiracy theories was it showing again this happens to everybody this is a fair justice system man <laughs> you're you know what you're right there is a, there's a full department devoted to the justice Ugh. and this this would never happen even though it's in the court transcripts and the judge was asking questions and i'm looking at it but that would never happen though no no I, it no. couldn't it couldn't so so i mean really tim what we're what we're talking about is a gun a gun plea deal through a diversionary agreement, which gave him scot free immunity from any type of federal gun charge. While his father, by the way, is pushing for gun control across the board and infringing upon everyone watching these rights, um, and then inside that, as a little cherry on top, completely unrelated to anything presidential or nominee or Democratic Party or anything on a political geopolitical scale, um, they put in immunity from anything in the future about. Lobbying charges, of which, by the way, the, the subject here doesn't have any ability to pull any strings. I'm sure this is only about Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. The guy actually not in government, just uh, raking in buckets uh-huh. of money for a guy in government. <clears throat> exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, like, what do you think here, Tim? I mean, I think I think this this is just a big smoke screen. This is clearly something that's just meant uh, as a Republican ploy. Yes, it's it's, Marjorie Taylor Greene's fault. It's a complete conspiracy. There's nothing to see Mm -hmm. here. This is how everybody would be treated if you absolutely all that, you know. Uh huh. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. Cuz I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure Tim, and from your own personal experience, you you know a little bit about um, how gun stores operate and how the ATF interacts and and how serious they take all of these minor infractions, don't you? Yes, they'll put you out of business if you're a gun store mm-hmm. for much less than what Hunter did. Yeah. It's weird. Like like something as simple as putting the wrong period in the wrong address. Yeah. And that, wrong, that's a fail on a Yeah, using the wrong street abbreviation. Yeah. Yeah, because because they'll do that, and I mean you've got firsthand experience in this realm, and we've talked to a lot of people who do, but at the same time, no, this this is clearly just Hunter. But he, he loves his son, Tim. He loves his son, and um, and that's really where it boils down to. Just a good family man. It's a good family man. Uh, oh, by the way, I heard he uh, acknowledged his seventh <laughs> grandchild this weekend. That's exciting news. Sort of. Um, the press secretary released a statement. Uh, the. Kind of, sort of said, yeah, she's there. <laughs> kind of medium? You know, you know what? Like, you wonder why these people, well, no, that would be a, that, that's withdrawn. Strike that from the record, Your Honor. <laughs> Just strike where I was going. That wasn't going to work out very well. But you know what? Maybe, maybe we're just being unfair to Hunter Biden, Tim. Maybe we're just being those mean old MAGA people. You know, letting our MAGA bias get in the way. So why don't we hear what Mr. Biden had to say? Hunter Biden, uh, the son, the first son, the 53-year-old child man. All right, let's get it. This is number six, Mr. Producer. This is the judge asking him a question. If you had no immunity from the government, perhaps even a different prosecutor, and the government could bring a felony tax evasion charge or judge charges against you, would you still enter the plea agreement and plead guilty to these tax charges, the judge asked? (laughs) Number seven. (laughs) No, Your Honor, <laughs> Biden replied. The, the, this is one of my favorite things about this entire scenario. The judge reiterates herself, and she goes, just so I understand, the judge continued, you would not agree to that plea agreement if you didn't get some immunity from other charges. Is that right? The attorney pipes up and goes, speaking for my client, that's correct, Your Honor. <laughs> The judge describes the deal as including non-standard terms like the broad immunity and said she is not convinced that it's actually a plea. No. (laughs) This judge is on it, Tim. I mean, like, do you know how much experience and age and years of wisdom you have to be able to discern what's going on here? I mean, you can't just see this from the high level as a person on the street. You need you need district court level experience. That's what you need. Yeah. She better get some really good security. <laughs> oh no! Don't be like that, Tim. Yeah. Because it, this this is the Department of Justice. They they it's an entire department. I, I just want to let you know it's an entire department. Yeah. Of if I was her, I'd be nervous. I'd be really nervous if this was the Clinton family. But I mean, the Biden's almost as bad. Oh so. man, you are just on a quest to get us band bandwagoned I, on this what? one, man. They I, just don't I, pay their taxes. That's all I'm saying. Oh, you know what? You know what? You're right. Let's get the misdemeanors going. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure there are 27 missing tax documents. Oof. Just leave that number out there. Just leave that number out there. But so, Tim, yes. you know, we I think I think we've we've done our due diligence on this, and we provided a lot of a lot of really great um, color assumption of innocence, um, color, if you will. So. Yeah. So what you're trying to say is goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. No, 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 no. That's not what I want to say. What I want to say is I want to I want to pull back the onion. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to get the real Tim reaction here outside of the sarcastic. (laughs) Yes, this is totally normal. I want to hear I want to hear the nuts. That was weird. That, that was I want to hear. Very weird. <laughs> it was weird. Oh, I want anyway, to look at the time. Yeah, I, I, gotta I, go. oh, I gotta go. I want to hear the crux of the issue from the Tim. From the from the Tim. Leave your nuts out of this. I don't know why I said that. That was weird. But <laughs> where the right. time goes? Way past oh, my bowel movement time. I gotta get Ooh. going. Oh, look at that. Oh, time for a BM. <laughs> that right. went off the rails so bad. It did. It's all your fault. Oh, God. Nuts. Yeah, yeah, I know. Who brings nuts, nuts into a know. conversation? Who brings nuts into a conversation? You know what? <laughs> I don't want to know your non-sarcastic part anymore. Put the onion back together. Take us out of this. And I all just right. look forward to the comments on this one. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm glad you guys stuck around this long <laughs> to see this epic ending. If you'd like to be part of our call-in show, there is a link in the video description below. Follow that link and we'll get you on the show. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon.